I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm very good, thank you. And of course, you're locked in. You're here with us on ourradio.com. Tell us, who is King Kenny? Well, you know, King Kenny is a DJ where a lot of people know playing at festivals like Reggae Jam, Summer Jam, all across the world. You understand, tour Africa, tour the Caribbean, which I'm from because I'm from Jamaica, but right now I'm living in Germany. Okay. Yes. So, and right now I'm going over into the artist world. You understand, as an entertainer. Yeah. For real, for real. You know what? How did you get into DJing slash toasting? How did that all begin? Well, you know, say, growing up as a youth in Jamaica, my uncle and some friends used to have a sound system go by the name of Barrel. You understand? From Spallings, Manchester, Jamaica, you know? Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's where everything starts. Okay, okay. And you know what? Lots of different people talk about sound system, but what does it teach you as an artist? What kind of things have you learnt? As a, a sound system or as an artist? A bit of both, because obviously you've got onto, onto the sound system. What kind of things did you learn as an artist and then, of course, being around the sound system? Well, the sound system gives you the versatility, you know, to, okay. you understand, because you don't know first, we start by just um, mixing and then after, you know, we're going to select in where you take the mic yeah. and you understand that we've been into a lot of clash and them thing there. Mm -hmm. So you know to approach the crowd. Yeah. You understand, you know, to entertain people. And that's what you learn as a DJ or, or as a selector before you go into the artist world. So for me as an artist, it's very easy to just entertain the people. Okay. You understand? Okay. okay. Yeah. Because, you know, do you ever get nervous being in front of a crowd? Well, to tell you the truth, it happened before. Okay. When I find the first song, um, seven years ago, it's called um, Show Me The Wine. And then all of a sudden, I, I got I, the song just hit here in Germany. And I got some bookings like in places like Castle. And when I went there and I see the turnout and the amount of people saying King Kenny, it was like, you know, <laughs> I was a little nervous, you know, because it was my first time as an artist to touch the stage, you know. Wow. Yeah. For real, for real. So, you know, what made you go to Germany? Because I know the sound system culture, reggae is growing so much in Europe. But what made you go to Germany? Well, you know that um, I'm a family man and I was working in Negril okay. in Jamaica. And I meet uh, um, a half Jamaican, half German young lady who after she gets pregnant and then you know she was she, she was living in germany so um, i was supposed to study because i got my subjects in jamaica okay. i got seven so seven subjects so she was saying okay i could come to germany i could take care of my family and i could also study you yeah. know so that's when i made the move you know from negril yeah. you understand me say, straight to um hanover germany yeah wow and what was that like for you? Because obviously, it's, they're two different cultures. So what was that like for you? Well, it was it was a crazy move, you know, because, you know, even today, me and Chuck Bass, you know, my producer and an artist also is here at the moment, and we were talking about it. Yeah. Like I was saying, like, before coming to Germany, I didn't even know anything about Germany, you understand? I didn't know anything about the language, you understand? Yeah. You, know, never, you know, in Jamaica, we get... Get we get we get caught up with um the UK, USA, Canada and places like like those, you understand? But Germany wasn't one of the places we which we really focus on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. For real. Hard to be. For real, for real. So what have you been getting up to out there? What have you been doing? Let the listeners know. Well, you know, I've, I'm doing a lot of work right now, you understand? I got a um a EP dropping soon you understand with jj beats you understand we work on three tracks already i got an ep dropping soon with um chan crazy record you know and i have one of the hottest single right now back for your band produced by solid jamaica living in denmark yeah. same way you understand and then i got a reggae song which the world love at the moment it's called a girl like you okay. produced by fafa one of the biggest producer also in Europe when it comes to record dancers. So there's a lot of work going on, yeah. For real, for real. So how do you come up with your your creative style? How do you go about doing it? Well, you know, it's just the love for the music, you know, because okay. a lot of things I started with, like, you know, King Kenny, you 
kind of stand yeah what even um what 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 kind of idea where do you get the idea to start something like that that i'm saying like I, I, me i would dream about a song and i just get up and write it the next day and head to the studio you okay. know that's how i work you understand for real yeah real. so speaking of that who would you personally like to collab with well you know that to tell the truth um I would I would like to collab with Bujo Bantan and if it's not Bujo Bantan it's Vibes Cartel. Okay. You understand okay. because these are um, two persons where you understand me look up to them well versatile. You understand yeah. me I said the public um, the, 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 the public love them and you know they, they're doing great music. For yeah. real, for real. But you know I'm sure you're going to be up there as well because you've been on the stage or worked alongside Beanie Man, Spice, Conscience. What was that like? How did that come about? Well, you know, I used to be a tour manager. You okay. understand? Yeah. So, yeah, because that's where I start. You know, I start, uh, um, I tour a few, uh, not a few, I tour a lot of artists, Europe, Europe-wide. You understand? Okay. So that's how I get to be on shows with like Spice, Beanie Man and all of them. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. The last show we had with Spice was in Bremen, you know, with Kaleido. Okay. Yeah. But it's, uh, that's, that's how I get to, to get the contact with the artists. For real. Through the tour. And you know, when you are on tour, do you learn from them or are you too busy doing what you have to do? <laughs> no, I learn, I learn a lot from them. Okay. You understand? Because, yeah. you know, you, you, have, you have to learn from the elder. You have to learn from the people who are there before you, who set the space. You understand? For real. Yeah, so I, 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 I learn a lot. Of, I learn a lot, you know, because Europe, the youth crowd is a little different from the Jamaican crowd, you know? Yeah. And I understand. Because a lot of stuff which is bombing in Jamaica right now, a lot of artists, Nobody knows them in Europe. You understand? And a lot of a lot of artists who is not bombing in Jamaica, yeah. they are bombing in Europe and other places in the world. You understand? For real, for real. So yeah, yeah. people might not know, but you you cook and a bartender. How did those professions come about? Well, you know, um, first of all, I was like at um, it's called youth Jamaican youth service. It's like. It's the, the, like the start of the military after you leave school when you're okay. in Jamaica, you know. So I went to that camp and then I have the chance to become um, like leave from there to go to the teacher's college or to um, the army or to the police force, you know, okay. or to food and beverage, which would at automatically lead you to go to um, like the tourist industry, you know, yeah. and I choose that route. So after I go to MSc um, school in Manchester, Okay. And that's where I get my certificate, you know, as like, yeah, for food and beverage. That's where, I, 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 that's when I start working in Negril Inn okay. after I finish my studies. Yeah. You know, yeah, as like um, a bartender and wait, waitress, you know. Yeah. Okay, wait. for real. Okay, for real, for yeah. real. Did you ever sing there? I don't hear you. Did you ever sing there? Do you ever do any toasting? Any yes, DJs? yes, yeah. The tourists, they, <laughs> the tourists, they used to like with the people who come to that house because I'm um, normally a hotel is closed at eleven, and I used to have one speaker box, and okay. I used to like play music for for for, for everybody there, you know. So I used to have a, a lot of friends from all over the world, you know, but mostly from the UK and from America, you know. That that hotel is called Rooms now, so maybe a lot of people don't know Nigel Inn, but okay. it's. It's, they changed the name to Rooms, so, so most people are familiar with Rooms, you know, because that's like 13 years ago, you know. Wow, yeah. for real. But, you know, one thing about you, when I was reading about you and looking you up, you know, you've got lots of different branches, like Connecting Crew, Connecting Radio, Jamaican Link Up, One Love and Heart Music Festival. Tell us about those connections. Yes, well, you know, the One Love, One Art Music Festival, that's my festival where I start here in Hanover, Germany. Okay. You understand? And, yeah, it was running good. The people them like it. The people them like what I do. And then I got um, the Connection um, Radio, which is one of the hottest radio stations, me and DJ Kev and a few other DJ, DJ Wiz yeah. and DJ Cool Chris, you know. And we have every Friday, we have a show which we interview the artists and you can see them live because we have a TV inside. So we make like WhatsApp call, you understand? So you can, no matter where on the earth the artist is, yeah. 
yeah. we hold them live inside of our studio so the people who log on to us by facebook or instagram they can see their their artists live you know so it's it's like it's just booming right now you understand yeah, everybody every artist want to be on, the, on that show and they can to watch that show you know so it's just growing and growing and growing you understand and that's the connection radio yeah for real for real and then of course um you've got team blue international tell us about that what that is yeah team blue was um where i start you understand as a disc jack you know we used to play by team blue and we leave from team blue to um connection radio so i'm not anymore um involved in team blue but that's where i start as a radio dj okay yeah. okay for real so you know you spoke earlier a little bit about the song that you're promoting back for your Ben. tell us about that project how it came about why you wrote it those kind of things well, you know, say back fear Ben um was like I said before was produced by Salid and normally Salid is an artist and also a producer. So he invited me to Denmark because I um I was supposed to do some road work for him, like some road promotion. Okay. And while I was there he was playing a rhythm because he have a student set up his house and I was like I hear the rhythm and I was like Back fear bro, gala bro, gala bro and he was like saying Yo, this sound mad. We have to record this. You understand? Yeah. And but he was saying, no, the conscience already have um, brought back or something like that. Let's say Ben, you know. Yeah. So that's where he changed um, from from Brock to Ben, you know. Okay. And I started singing the the, the the hook, and then uh, it sounds so perfect. And then he worked on it, and we write together, and we release we release it on his red um label. Okay. And from that. Every fans worldwide, they were like, yo, King Kenny, this is a classic, this is a hit. And the best thing about it, we have the um, we have the the, 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 re, the remix, refix coming um, soon with Alazade, Mr. Easy, and then we have Crow, we have we have we have um, Skull from from um, Korea okay. and also one artist from the UK called Kana. So it's a five person remix. It's gonna be it's gonna be deadly. You know, yeah, yeah. So you have to send that on, you know that, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not released as yet, but when <laughs> well, uh, it's still working on, yeah, okay, it's in the okay. Pipeline. So, you know, how can people get in touch with you? How can they contact you if they want to talk to you? Well, you can find me on Instagram, you know, it's King Kenny I Music, so it's King Kenny Music and Instagram. On Facebook, it's DJ King Kenny or Kenny Lava Ground. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, you know, you've spoke about all the things you've got coming up. But what's next for you? After you, Have you looked further than, say, three years, what you would like to do, or you haven't got that far yet? No, right now I've got it for you. Right now I'm working with the team, you know, Chuck Boss, he just fly in, you understand, just a couple of days ago. Yeah. Own artist um, Jay Bang, I think he would interview him soon. So we have a team put together now because you know we we, we want to get a crew together. Like you see, the guys that did it, did it, the six that did it. So we want to get a crew put together here in Europe, which gonna take the music in Europe on another level. You understand what I'm saying? For real, yeah. for real. And of course, so that's what we're about. And of course, what would you like to say to the listeners out there who are locked in? What would you like to say to them? Well, I'm telling all the listeners. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the love people showing me um, worldwide. Yes, and I want to say um, thanks to Arawak um, for having me. You yeah, understand, DJ Cat. Anytime. Yeah, and I want to big up all my friends and my family worldwide and all my fans. Yeah. For real. And of course, I've got to ask you if you're up for doing something live right now for the listeners. It's a little something. What them say? I may say. Back for your bin, spine for your broke, girl for your spin like wheel pan choke. Come test me now, got something for you. Girl, hold me tight, send me now, go leg up, send me now, go leg up. Don't bring no jama, wine round the corner. Girl said, good, you know you love the banana. Don't play a tough, you see the crack in your armor. If you batch it low, I'm going to lend you my charger. I mean, say, back for your bin, gala bin, gala, gala bin, wine for now. Yeah. <laughs> so before we go king kenny one more time let the listeners know what to look out for and where they can check it out just so that if they want to check you out they can go straight there now 
All right, everybody can find everything from King Kenny. You know, just type in my name on every screaming platform. You understand? It's K I A G K E N N I, and you find all my music. And people, please go and check out the Mad Wine Rhythm that I just produced and released right now with the hottest dance rhythm out there. I'm telling no lie. And I hope DJ can't jump us up from the Mad Wine Rhythm. You know, I got songs from Alize, Louisiana. Jay Bang, Shakin, Maria. Yeah, there's so much great artists on that rhythm, you understand? For and real, so, for and real. And some more coming, part two of the Mad Wine coming soon. Definitely. Yeah, so please check out the Mad Wine rhythm coming. For real. So, you know what? I just want to say thank you again, you know, for taking the time out to talk to us. Always appreciated. And then once you do that remix or even before it comes out, you can come back on the radio and we can talk about it again, yeah? Definitely. It's such a great um, pleasure for you to have me and, um, here on your radio. Anytime. Was, um, also great talking to you too. For yeah. real. And so, yeah, big, big thanks. Anytime, anytime. You know what? We'll speak again soon, I'm sure. Definitely, definitely. All right then. Speak soon. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Have a nice day. You too, you too. Yes, people, please do go and support King Kenny I. Okay, I'm going to be playing a little bit of his track that you just heard him do a little voice of. Okay, have a little listen, see if you like the vibes. And of course, don't forget to check him out and support each and every time. Here we go. And you're listening to DJ Cat the Catalyst on Arawak Radio. Hey, DJ Cat, and as enough, respect our man as enough. The young grey beast got away in the streets. It's hiding in the bushes and lurking in the creeks. Now ain't the time for the heart to be weak. Stand up like a warrior by your feet. Yeah. 